for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com so question number 25 what is the maximum value of z so here what we have to do z 10x plus 6y has given that we have to maximize subject to the constraint 3x plus y less than or equal to 12 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 34 x greater than 0 y greater than 0 okay so what we have to maximize is z is equal to 10x plus 6y has to be maximized subject to these four constraints now what we will do in these four out of these four constraints with these four constraints, whatever are the boundary values of the x and y we have to find out, then you substitute in z, whatever maximum for z we are getting, that would be the answer. Now, how to find out that? Since two of the constraints involve x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0, you, you, you take a graph only in positive x and positive y. Okay, two of the constraints we have used here. So, only in this direction for x and in this direction for y we have to consider. Now, the other two constraints are 3x plus y less than or equal to 12, 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 34. Now, plot these two lines roughly. Okay, now for the first this for the first uh, line to plot the line put x is equal to 0, then you will get y is equal to 12. So, one point is 0 comma 12 the other point is y is equal to 0 so x is equal to 12 x is equal to 12 by 3 so 4 comma 0 so two points are one is 4 comma 0 the other one is 0 comma 12 say suppose each is 4 1 2 3 4 each is 3 here also each is say suppose 3 1 2 3 4 the first point is 4 comma 0 so roughly somewhere here 4 comma 0 will be there this point then the second point is say suppose this is a this is b second point is 0 comma 12 see each is 3 see this will be 0 comma 12 point so this line passes through these two points so roughly so this is the line 3x plus y is equal to 12 so, he says 3x plus y shall be less than or equal to 12. So, always our x and y shall be bound by, bound below this line. So, it is something like this below this line. But it is also bound by x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. Means, this is x is equal to 0. So, it shall be more than this. This is y is equal to 0. So, it shall be above this. This is x is equal to 0, y axis. So, it shall be above this. And it is 3x plus y less than or equal to 12. So, it shall be below this. So, this is the region now is of our interest bound by these three. Now, the second condition is 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 34. Now, find try to plot this line. Keep x is equal to 0. When you keep x is equal to 0, 5y is equal to 34. So, y is equal to 34 by 5. That is roughly equal to 7. So, 0 comma 34 by 5 so this is 6 roughly equal to 7 so the first point is this say this point is c sorry this is on y axis so 34 by 5 is 1 2 roughly about this so this would be point c now keep y is equal to 0 2x is equal to 34 y i have kept 0 2x is equal to 34 so x is equal to 34 by 2 17 Okay, now 17 comma 0. Each is 3 units I have taken. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Say suppose 18, 17 will be somewhere here. So, this is the point D. 17 comma 0. So, this is point C. Now, you draw a line joining C and D. Something like this. So, this line represents 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 34 this line represent is equal to 34 now what we have to find below this only less than or equal to 34 so our value shall be below this line means below this line as well as below this line so now x greater than or equal to 0 and x y greater than or equal to 0 so the region of our interest is bounded by these four lines so this is the region constrained by the given constraints 
okay now what are the bounding points for that region first point is this is one end point we know zero zero the other one is this point this is what point this is point a right this is point a 4 comma 0 so this is 4 comma 0 this is point this point we do not know we did not find but this point is the intersection point of this line to this line correct right this is the intersection intersection point of 3x plus y is equal to 12 the intersection point of 3x plus y say that point b e 3x plus y is equal to 12 and 2x plus 5y is equal to 34. Now, from we have to find out intersection point means y is equal to 12 minus 3x here. Substitute here. So, 2x plus 5 into 12 minus 3x. 5 into 12, 60 minus 5 into 3, 15x is equal to 34. Implies 2x minus 15x is minus 12x is equal to 34 minus 60 that is minus 26 sorry 2x minus 15x is minus 13x so x is equal to 20 minus 26 by minus 13 2 so x is equal to 2 implies y is equal to 12 minus 3 into 2 12 minus 6 is 6 so the intersection point here is 2 comma 6 so the next bounding point here is point c coordinates of c are 0 comma 34 by 5 So, here we have found out, I will erase this, here we have found out our bounding points, first one is 0, 0, second one is 4, 0, third one is 2, 6, fourth one is 0, 34 by 5. Now, substitute all these values in the given z. 10x plus 6y. 10x plus 6y. This is 0 if you xy you keep it 0. 10 into x is 4. 10 into 4, 40 plus 6 into y. This is 40. 10 into 2, 20 plus 6 into 6, 36. This is 56. 10 into 0, 0 plus 6 into 34 by 5. This is roughly about 30. I mean, uh, roughly about 35. Not exactly. So, out of this, the maximum value is 56. So, answer is A. So, question number 54. The objective function z 3x1 plus 5x2 is to be maximized subject to the constraints x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 200, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 150, x1, x2 greater than or equal to 0. In such case, what is the what are the values of x1 and x2? The options were given as 100, 75, 125, 75, 150, 125, and 50. It is somewhat similar to question number 25, what we have solved earlier. But there they have asked what is the maximum value of the function given here what for what values of x1 and x2 the value will be maximum the value of the function will be maximum here what you can do solution since he has given the variable variables here all the variable like values of the variables x1 and x2 here what you can do whichever set of variables whichever set of variables satisfies the given constraints you first find out 175 100 plus 75 100 plus 2 into 75 will be 200 2 will be less than or equal to, it shall be less than or equal to 200 100 plus 2 into 75 is 150 100 plus 150 so this this two values are failing here so this cannot be an option these two values 125 plus 75 125 plus 2 into 75 is 150 150 plus 125 not less than or equal to 200 so this is also failing for the first condition now here 150 100 plus 2 into 50 100 so this is less than or equal to 100 so it is satisfying first first condition second condition x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 150 100 plus 50 less than or equal to 150 or equal also is there so this is also satisfying second second condition third condition x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 both are greater than or equal to 0 this is satisfying all the conditions this is one option now third option is 125 and 50 125 is 125 plus 2 into 50 225 it is not satisfying this condition so this is also cannot be an option so the only option here is c so you can directly write c as the answer
okay suppose if the given answer has some answers like this instead of 125 and 50 what he has given say suppose there is an one more option i will write it here say suppose there is one more option wherein one is 75 one is 75 plus uh, say suppose uh, 75 75 75 now if you see 75 75 here it is 75 plus 2 into 75 150 plus 75 oh that is exceeding rather i will consider it 50 75 50 comma 75 now it is 50 plus 50 plus 2 into 75 150 plus 50 200 so this is satisfying the first condition now 50 plus 75 125 less than or equal to 150 this is also satisfying this condition okay this did not satisfy this one we are doing now so both are greater than zero so this is also satisfying now out of these two which would maximize the given function we have to check so 150 substitute here 3 into 100 plus 5 into 50 300 plus 5 into 50 is 250 3 into 100 plus 5 into 50 that is 300 plus 250 that is 550 now here it is 3 into 50 plus 5 into 75 so this is 150 plus 575 is how much 570 is 350 plus 5 is 25 so 375 375 plus 150 is how much 350 plus 150 500 so this is 525 so first eliminate those options which does not satisfy the constraints in the earlier case we have only one option which satisfies all the conditions so directly we can write c as the answer but in this case we have another another option which also satisfies the given conditions so now only consider those conditions which satisfies the constraints now c and e only are satisfying the given condition okay now out of this whichever has the maximum value that would be our answer in this case c has the maximum value so our answer will be c this is one way of doing it using back substitution however the other way is the normal theoretical way is you plot x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 he has given assume this is my positive x axis positive y axis in place of x this is x1 i will take this is x uh, in place of y i will take x2 since both are greater than or equal to 0 only right side if you can show it will be sufficient enough now what he has asked it shall be subjected to the conditions x1 plus 2 x2 shall be less than or equal to 200 so first plot this line x1 plus 2 x2 2 x2 is equal to 200 so x1 plus 2 x2 is equal to 200 plot this line so x1 you make it 0 x1 you make it 0 then x2 will be 2x2 is equal to 200 so x2 will be 200 by 2 so x2 is equal to 100 so the point is 0 comma 100 one point say suppose point a then x2 you make it 0 x1 is equal to 200 so x2 if i make it 0 x1 is 200 so the second point is 200 comma 0 that is point b say suppose so this is a line passing through 200 0 say suppose each is a 50 line i will take okay 50 this one so this is 50 100 150 200 50 100 150 200 so it passes through 0 comma 100 0 comma 100 is on y axis 0 comma 100 is this one each is a 50 so this is point a 200 comma 0 50 200 comma 0 is point b so the line passes through this sector these two points so this is the line x1 plus 2 x2 is equal to 200 now the second line is x1 plus x2 is equal to 150 before going to the second line just one second here so x1 plus 2 x2 less than or equal to 200 so our value shall be restricted restrained by this constraint by this line it is less than or equal to 200 so all the value shall be below this line 
एंड एक्स वन शल बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो आल द वैल्यू शल बी बिलो दिस लाइन दैट इज वन कंस्ट्रेंट द सेकेंड कंस्ट्रेंट इज आल द एक्स वन शल बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो एक्स वन इज दिस एक्स वन इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो इन दिस इन दिस डायरेक्शन then x2 is greater than 0 is in this direction x2 is this so it is greater than 0 in this direction now the common area what we have found so far is this is the common area using these three these three constraints correct right now one more constraint is x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 150 plot the line x1 plus x2 is equal to 150 so x2 you make it 0 x1 will be 150 so the point is 150 comma 0 now x1 you make it 0 x2 will be 150 the point is 150 so 150 is 1 2 3 so this is point say suppose c d so this is 150 comma 0 c this is 1 where it is 2 this is 3 so this is point d 0 comma 150 so the next line passes through c and d okay now this line is x1 plus x2 is equal to 150 okay now our condition is x1 plus x2 shall be less than or equal to 150 so all our points will remain below this so the common area of interest earlier was this but now it is intercepted by this line so the common area of interest will be now this 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 segment then this segment this is the common area of interest so constrained this is what is the constraint now what are the boundaries for the constraint values 0 comma 0 this is point c 150 comma 0 this is we have not yet found this is the intersection point of x1 plus x2 is equal to 150 and x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 200 so x1 plus x2 is equal to 150 x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 200 intersection point from this x2 is or x1 is equal to 150 minus x2 so you substitute here 150 minus x2 plus 2x2 is equal to 200 my <coughs> minus x2 plus 2x2 is x2 here 150 you take out that side so 200 minus 150 50 so x2 is equal to 50 so x2 is equal to 50 you got so the here the point x2 is 50 x1 plus x2 shall be 150 so x2 is 50 so x1 is equal to 150 minus 50 that is 100 so the point of intersection is 100 comma 50 now one more boundary point is a a is what 0 comma 100 so four points we have got here four points what are those four points a point a 0 comma 100 0 comma 0 b uh, 0 50 comma 0 correct right 150 comma 0 point number e 150 so these are our four points now at, at one of these points z will be maximum you check whether any of these points presents in this given options none of the points present except 150 correct right except this none of the points belong are of are from this point so we can blindly say this is our this is the correct option suppose the options were given something like this options were given as a 0 0 b 0 comma 100 c as it is d 150 comma 0 now at this step you would check whether these four points are there in the options you would observe all the four points are there as a b c d options now there is no other go you have to find substitute each each of these points in the given z substitute 0 comma 100 0 comma 100 that is 500 from first point z value is 500 substitute 0 0 this is 0 substitute 150 0 3 into 150 450 plus 0 450 substitute 150 300 plus 250 550 so now which is the maximum 
this is the maximum so the option is 150 so c is the correct option for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com